Hi, I'm going to turn a bullet pin today. The kids got me a kit for Christmas and I'm going to use Purple Heart. And there was one other thing I forgot. Uh, one of the guys on Facebook, he just uh, made a fan page. So I wanted to, I'm going to put his link down in the in the description below. And he's a young kid and just starting out. So go go take a look at that. And I based it off last, the, last week. But uh, take a look at that and let's go ahead and turn a pin. All right, I'm going to use a piece of Purple Heart I have, and I just have my little uh, bushings there, so I know exactly where to turn it down to, and listen to this. It's a maiden voyage, or ma maiden project, I guess. That right there is um, about 3,500 RPMs. And that right there is 4,000. That's max. So let's turn it down a little bit. my first pin too. I made a, a what I make, make a, a keychain a while back but it's the first time I've turned a pin. And I don't have any of the the sanding pads that they use to polish them, but those would uh, would be nice. And I'm just going to use this skew to level it out or even it up here. And you probably could have used this the whole time. I was just. Just playing around a little bit. Just there you go.
There we go. All right. Then we'll just sand it up. So, all right. And just slowed it down so we could sand it up. And I'll do one grit in uh, forward, and then we'll actually reverse it and do the next grid in reverse, which is nice. This, you know, so the grain, basically if you're sanding in just one direction, it, it kind of lays the, the grain down. So we'll just turn it around here real quick. It's just a paper towel, turn it off, and reverse. Look at that. I'm also going to put a coat of uh, beeswax on this so it gives it a little more of a shine to it than uh, just normal on the paste wax and kind of buff it out. I'll just keep going, going back and forth. All right, and then this is just 600 here. And then we'll uh, wipe this off and put a coat of uh, the beeswax on it. And bring the, bring the speed back up. Then we'll turn the speed all the way back up and, and buff this out. There we go. Now crank it. Crank it all the way up. Oh, was that what was rattling? There we go. All right. All right, I'll go ahead and assemble it, and then I'll come back. All right, there we go. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll put some pictures up at the end, but um, I used the drill press. I don't have a pin press for it, but I used the my drill press and put a little block of wood in there. It didn't work real well. It's kind of... It, you're trying to hold on to it and center it and everything else. Um, I would definitely invest in a pin press if you're going to be making, you know, any more than like one of these. 
Um, and I'm not sure how much they cost. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can. can't find out. But Woodcraft sells them in Penn State and uh, like Craft Supplies. I think they, they all sell them. But, and it's just Purple Heart. And you just turn the, that part right there. There we go. But, all right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.